CONCERN OVER FOOD SAFETY AGAIN FOLLOWING A POSSIBLE CASE OF HEPATITIS A FOUND IN A WORKER AT A POPULAR CHINESE RESTAURANT. OFFICIALS SAY THE PATIENT WORKED AT WA KUNG RESTAURANT IN MAPUNA PUNA FROM DECEMBER 1ST TO JANUARY 6TH. NOW SO FAR NO ONE ELSE HAS GOTTEN SICK, BUT HEALTH OFFICIALS WANT TO LET PEOPLE KNOW JUST IN CASE. Now, we're talking about hepatitis A again. Of course, it was big news back uh, a few months ago, maybe even a year ago now, when Genki went through their scare. Benjamin Ro Roney, a uh, family physician from Castle Health Clinic of La IA, is here to break down everything you need to know about hepatitis A. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so for those who don't know, uh, what exactly is hepatitis A? So, hepatitis A is a virus that infects your liver and mm. it breaks down your liver and most of the time you'll get over on your own but if people who are older people who have uh, underlying liver damage other liver problems can actually end up dying wow and how is it different from other hepatitises so there's various forms of hepatitis you have hepatitis a b c they're transmitted different ways for example hepatitis c is more bloodborne whereas hepatitis a is typically passed in a fecal oral transmission so either you eat something that someone else who hadn't washed their hands had touched or you eat uncooked fish food anything else that has been in unclean water or conditions okay so that's how it's transferred then so where does this originate from so it's something that you have um, in all country on the world okay. and in America because we've been doing vaccinations really in Hawaii since 99 our rates are very low but as mm -hmm. as you have um, lots of people coming in from overseas tourists who visit Hawaii uh, they have much higher rates of hepatitis they can bring it with them and you don't always know that you have it necessarily you have about two weeks after you're infected before you even have symptoms okay wow and what then would those symptoms be how would you know you have nausea, abdominal pain, after a while you have dark urine, you have kind of clay colored stools, mm -hmm. uh, general fever and fatigue. Okay, and, and is that something that you would have to then go into the doctor for them to test you? Yeah, you have? absolutely. Okay. It's, it's, you can't really tell the different forms of hepatitis apart from a lot of other liver diseases, um, but with some blood tests. Mm -hmm. And that's something you have to really go to the doctor that you have taken care of. Okay, and prevention, how do we prevent getting this? Um, vaccines. So. Vaccination is, is very, very important. And we've seen the rates in Hawaii drop dramatically after we started doing vaccinations. But the important thing on the day-to-day -day is hand washing, you know, properly cooking and cleaning food, um, and just making sure that we don't um, eat anything that we wouldn't want to. Right. Okay, so for the vaccination then, um, what do you, well, I guess but even after, I, well, first let's talk, where, where can you get a vaccination? So you can get a vaccination, um, well, if you want to, we have our information will be on the screen for uh, Adventist Health Castle. Uh, you can call us or look at our, our website. Um, but it's something that little kids get when they're a year old. So starting, um, like I said, earlier in, the, in this, I guess it was 99 in Hawaii, but 2006 and a lot of the rest of the country, children have been vaccinated, but adults haven't. So mm -hmm. unless you either got a vaccination last time or you work with food or you were a healthcare worker who needed to have a vaccination, um, you haven't had it, and so that's when you need to contact your health care provider. Okay, okay, so that's for prevention. But if you are having, you know, some of the symptoms, if you think you have it, what should you do? Go ahead and go to your doctor. Mm -hmm. um, we, like I said, we can perform tests to find out if you actually have hepatitis or any other number of uh, liver diseases that would kind of cause the same symptoms. Okay, but main message is really everybody should be vaccinated because Correct. as we've seen, you know, you'll, it, it'll be at restaurants that you work, that you regularly go to. If the worker has it, it can be so easily transmitted. So just protect yourself and make sure that you get the vaccination. And you have to get two, correct? Correct. Okay, one and then a follow-up. Absolutely. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much thank for joining much. us. Happy to have you and great tips to know, especially, you know, when this is such a hot topic right now. Yep.